The page edit extension allows you to make any web page into a content editable document and modify it via a simple toolbar pop-up. To get started, let's have a look by installing the extension. Once the extension is installed, we can then go ahead and pin this to our browser toolbar. Simply left clicking and then left clicking on the pin option. Now we'll see a grayscaled icon inside the browser toolbar. This lets us know that this extension is currently switched off. To turn it on, we simply click on the icon and then click on the grayscale version and we can see it turns on. And it's as simple as that to switch between on and off. Coloured with the blue ring means on, grayscale means off. So let's go ahead and road test this. So we are going to go to Google and type in an article. So let's have a look at Wikipedia and Google. So after we load this page, we can see that the extension is turned off. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Once it's turned on and we're on a page that can be edited, we see a little indication here saying design mode, allowing us to know that this page can be edited via the extension. So let's go ahead and have a look. So here we see Google LLC is an American. Well, let's remove some of this. So we can go ahead and change this to Google LLC is a multinational technology company. So we can actually edit the text directly here. So we can do this across the whole page, easily edit the HTML element. But not only can we do this, but the tool comes with an advanced visual editor. So we can go ahead and left click after highlighting the section we wish to edit and then go through some of the tools. So one, we can make it bold or we can undo that change. Two, we can make it italic and do that. Redo that and do again. We can underline, we can make it have a strike through, we can make it become subscript, we can make it become superscript, let's undo some of these changes. We can also left align it, center align, align to the right, justify align. We can also indent, or change to the page entirely in that regard. And we can also outdent as well, which again changes the page. So let's undo those changes. We also have the ability to change it into a bulletproof list. We also have the ability to change it to a numbered list. We can make the text smaller. We can make the text bigger, much bigger in fact. It's no real limit. We can go ahead and change the colouring as well. We can go ahead and undo these changes. Bring in all the page um, text back to the standard size. We also then have the ability to change the background color. So as you can see, this is an incredibly simple and easy tool to use inside of our browser. When we go ahead and turn it off, the changes are also kept on the page until we refresh. So here we can see. So as an example, you may want to go through a document. You may want to highlight the different areas as I've done so here. You then may want to go ahead and print this off. So we do this and then we select the print option after turning it on. We may want to remove all the hyperlinks. So we're not going to see all of these one. We print the page off with all our um, hover over or um, background highlights. So we go ahead and we can remove all of the links here. Now we can see we have the highlighted areas. Let's highlight some more. And then we can see easily done throughout this page. If you wish to use this extension inside the incognito mode of your browser, simply right click, select manage extensions, and then select allow in incognito. By default, extensions aren't activated in incognito unless you do this.